gender discourse or gender discursive. From this module onwards, we are entering very closely in the study of relationship between language and gender. In this module and the following modules, we will talk about what is gender discourse, what is ideology, what is power, what is hegemony. So all these concepts are core concepts of this course and we need to discuss them and understand them very well. So let's start from discourse and then discourses and then gender discourses. Our place that is also technically known as habitus. This term was used by French sociologist Bardou. Habitus. Habitus means our place in society, our position in society, in which class of society we belong to. That is our habitus, or which race we belong to. This is habitus. So when we have different places in society, so we live among people who are like us. We, we learn their ways of talking. We learn their language styles. We learn their values. We learn their skills, etc. These are called discourses. Discourse is a meaningful social activity. Now, any social activity that is meaningful, that has some meaning, that can be in form of talk, that can be in form of some physical or visual form, it is called discourse. But usually, here in our case, we are talking about that discourse which is linked with language, which is linked with our talk. Over the period of time, our talk repeats something. And when that something is repeated over a period of time, it gradually turns into ideas. And that talk which carries these ideas is known as discourse. So if we want to understand what is discourse, so we actually are trying to know what is the history of talk that is behind this discourse because to know the history of talk means to know the history of idea that was created by talk and that ultimately became discourse. This was the approach of a famous critical discourse analyst who is known as Ruth Bader. As people of different social habitus, social positions and locations and geography, they have different talks. They will have different ideas. Different talks means different ideas. Different ideas means different discourses. So we move from discourse to discourses. And these were the views of Bardu, how he defines what is discourse. If so, if we follow him, when people of different habitus will have different ideas about gender, if we apply it to gender, so their talks carry gender views, their ideas about gender, how they think about gender. So this becomes gender discourses. If discourses are ideas about word, what is good and bad, what is knowledge? What is power? So if we call discourse as ideas, they are like ideology. Because what is ideology? Ideology is also a set of ideas about certain things, about truth as we have defined it in some previous module. 
what is ideology our beliefs about truth our belief about knowledge true knowledge that is our ideology and what is discourse a set of ideas that is carried by talk over a period of time so both are almost the same this was the view of foucault another french philosopher to understand that how discourse is ideology you will think over a task i want to involve you in this reflective process you know the incident of 9/11 after 9/11 there has been much talk about terrorism is this just a talk or discourse what is difference between talk and discourse we have talked about it talk is just talk and when you add ideas with talk it becomes discourse so you will decide whether it is just a talk or a discourse does it based on habitus is it related with a certain position certain place or with certain country or countries discuss with evidence from media from books which are related with the period of 911 incident